Greetings, Danbury High School. It's Mr. Flood. Mr. Flood. I was there like two weeks ago. I know none of you remember me. I'm just kidding. Listen, it's okay if you don't remember me. I don't remember what I had for breakfast the other, you know, yesterday morning. So um, I think I remember what I had for breakfast this morning. But don't listen. Don't worry about it. I'm not offended by that. I'm and I'm not concerned with if you remember me. I'm more concerned that you remember something that I said. And I hope something that I said when I was there speaking to you um, affected you and made you think of someone in your life or, you know, a small change you want to make in your life, um, you know, to, uh, to make improvements in your life. So first, I want to say thank you. Uh, that's the first reason for this video is to say thank you for the way that you treated me there. Love Texas. Love the people in Texas. Um, go Cowboys. I know you guys are probably Houston fans. That's okay. Um, but big, big Texas fan. I even uh, made a video where I was talking to somebody after I was there and just saying how much I, I there's something about Texas. There just is. Uh, and it's not because I'm a Cowboys, Cowboys fan. It's just there's something about Texas. I mean, the people there are welcoming. There's definitely something about Southern hospitality. I love people in New York and, you know, in Pennsylvania and the Northeast. But there is something to be said for Southern hospitality in Texas. Um, especially I've been treated so well when I was there. So, so thank you for the dignity and respect that you showed me when I was there for welcoming me to your school and the staff as well. And the second reason I'm coming back with this video guys and girls is because I said earlier, we forget things so quickly, you know, as you get older, you forget stuff, you know, even it goes out of your mind even quicker. I don't know if kids forget more stuff or adults, but I want to remind you of the three challenges I gave you when I was there. Number one, look on the inside of people. Always give people the benefit of the doubt. And I strongly believe, I have a very strong knowing, that when you do that, when you give off and put out that energy, that other people will do the same for you. Very, very, very rarely will you, will you have a good thought towards someone and not judge them, and then they will judge you. It's just, and that, and that person, if they do, they're probably troubled. They probably have something, you know, they probably have struggling with something. So always give people the benefit of the doubt. Look on the outside, look on the inside, not the outside. Look on the inside, not the outside. And the second challenge I gave you is to thank two adults in the building. It's so important, you know, in your high school career, you know you're gonna need someone to go to, uh, that you can bounce something off of. Um, and the way to start a connection with an adult is to show them respect and say, you know what, thank you for keeping me safe. Thank you for choosing to work in education. Can I talk to you about something? And, you know, they are more than willing to talk. Uh, and They are more than willing to talk and more importantly, listen to what's going on with you. And I guarantee, I guarantee when you connect with an adult, they're going to say, I know how you feel. I felt the same way. This is, you know, what happened to me. I had a similar situation. And let me tell you what I did. So show, show respect and thank two adults in the building for all that they do for you. And the third challenge I gave you, and please take this challenge wherever you can in your life, is that no one should have to eat alone. Look for every opportunity when you can include others in a conversation, in a group, on a sports field, at recess, wherever. Um, you know, going out at night, going out to a movie, whatever. But just think, please try and include more people in your life because there's a lot of people who are not. There's a lot of lonely people um, who are not included in things. And, you know, it, it, it definitely doesn't hurt. It does not take a lot of effort to include someone who's just a little atypical um, and a little outside the box. And you can learn so much from those people. They can teach you so many different things and you can teach them. So thank you for my time there. Really love Danbury. I hope I get a chance to come back. Um, and again, there's, there's something about Texas. You know, there's just something about Texas. So um, what do they say? Everything's bigger in Texas, but there's, 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 some, there's big love in Texas. So thank you for hosting me. And I hope all of you have an awesome second half to the year. Have a great day, guys and girls.